Thank you, Dean. Good evening, Your Honor, special guests, and supporters. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes for a moment. I want you to visualize the following person. A graduate of UNB and the University of New Brunswick, holding degrees in both business administration and industrial relations, along with possessing a certified human resources professional designation. This individual is a member of senior management of a national organization, has operated two small businesses, has been identified as one of New Brunswick's 21 leaders for the 21st century, and the YMYWCA's leader to watch in St. John. Participant in the Governor General's Canadian Leadership Conference, who contributes to his community through sitting on a number of board of directors, ran for municipal office, and likes to have fun through yearly travels to exotic destinations. You can open your eyes now. Not to reinforce stereotypes, but chances are you did not imagine a person in a wheelchair who relies on 24-hour attendant care for his physical activities of daily living and was not supposed to live past to see his second birthday. All this is possible when given the appropriate supports and being surrounded by people who care. Muscular dystrophy Canada plays a huge role in allowing people to live their lives to the fullest. By being here this evening, you are helping to support the quality of life of Canadians, thousands of Canadians with neuromuscular disorders. Good evening. My name is Jeff Sparks, and I am the National Director of Volunteer Engagement and Special Initiatives, as well as the Community Development Manager for Atlantic Canada with Muscular Dystrophy Canada. I'm also an individual with a neuromuscular disorder. Not to toot my own horn, but the individual I depicted at the beginning of my presentation happened to be me. This evening, I hope to share with you some of the challenges individuals with neuromuscular disorders face on a daily basis and highlight some of the great work that Muscular Dystrophy Canada does. Before I tell you the story of our organization, I want to acknowledge a few special people in the audience. This evening, we have Lisa Potty, Executive Director for Atlantic Canada with Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Tracy Ryan, Director of Services, Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Sheila McComb, Services Assistant with the Atlantic Region of Muscular Dystrophy Canada. Richard Steves, the Volunteer Chapter President of the Central New Brunswick Chapter. And many other persons with neuromuscular disorders and their families. I would also like to thank the students and, and faculty of business at UNB for an amazing event this evening and fundraiser in support of Bus Dystrophy Canada. A special thanks to Matt Dara for encouraging his class to choose Bus Dystrophy Canada as a charity of choice. I hope that you are anticipating the discussions this evening with as much anticipation as I am. It's hard to believe for many people that a person with a disability such as I would be able to accomplish what I have in my short 36 years. This would not have been possible without the support of family, friends, government, and other organizations, Muscular Dystrophy Canada being a key one. Keep your eyes open. The best is yet to come. I would now like to share with you some of the challenges I face on a daily basis and how the work of Muscular Dystrophy Canada has impacted me. When diagnosed at 10 months of age with spinal muscular atrophy, the world's leading cause of infantile death, my parents were told that I would not live to see the age of two. And Muscular Dystrophy Canada was there to support them at their time. My family still receives regular support through the Muscular Dystrophy Canada staff and chapter volunteers in St. John. I received significant information to help make life-changing decisions and educations on therapies to improve my quality of life. In the past two years alone, my eyes have been really open to the importance of respiratory care. In the last year, I had one friend go into a coma and another pass away because they were treated inappropriately with oxygen therapy. Many people would not know about the risks of these simple treatments for persons with neuromuscular disorders. But that's starting to change through the educational symposiums 
offered by Muscular Sufi Canada. Let's talk a little bit about equipment. Who would believe that the wheelchair I'm sitting in costs $45,000? It's a Lazy Boy and a Ferrari all in one. <laughs> all joking aside, I wouldn't be able to do what I do on a daily basis if it weren't for this wheelchair. Some of the much needed features include tilt and recline, which prevent pressure sores. An elevating seat that allows me to communicate at people at eye level. And an infrared control, which activates the mouse on my computer, my TV, my PVR, and my stereo. What would I do without all these luxuries of lives? These, these are necessities to many of us, but I recognize that I am an exception in the quality of life I get to live compared to many others with neuromuscular disorders. But for them, these simple things are in fact luxuries. Muscular Zippy Canada helps thousands of other people with neuromuscular disorders besides me. Let me just give you a few brief examples. A young boy in Fredericton was funded for a three-wheeled, handheld driven tricycle that through the Central New Brunswick Chapters Community Services Fund. This young man is now able to play with his friends without having his disability get in the way. Stem Cell Research is legal in Canada because of the advocacy of a consortium of health charities, which was led by Muscular Sufi Canada. The New Brunswick government has committed to funding a million dollars to the purchase of respiratory equipment because of advocacy efforts of organizations, including Muscular Sufi Canada. In 2010, we reached over 35,000 people through a public awareness campaign promoting disability issues in the province of New Brunswick alone. As well in 2010, our staff responded to over 27,000 emails and phone calls for people affected by these diseases and their families. In 2010, we worked in partnership with other health research organizations and together invested $4.52 million in leading Canadian research projects, striving to find treatment and ultimately a cure to these diseases. Muscular Sufi Canada supports over 50,000 Canadians impacted by one of over 140 disorders. Let me tell you a little bit about these disorders. The terms describe a wide range of conditions. All have in common a weakness in abnormalities in either the nerves or muscles. Many are hereditary, most are progressive. There is presently no cure, and medication and treatments do help slow the progression. Some children are diagnosed at birth or before starting school, while others may be diagnosed during the school age years, and still others may not begin to show signs until later in life. Some of the common implications include mobility, falling, losing balance, fatigue, upper limb function, lower limb function, communication, moving and handling, seating, standing, comfort, eating and swallowing, washing, washroom use, and breathing. Things that we all do all day, every day. Muscular Sufi Canada's vision is to find a cure for, mus for muscular dystrophy in our lifetime. The mission is to enhance the quality of life of those affected by neuromuscular disorders by continually working to provide ongoing support and resources while relentlessly searching for a cure through well-funded research. This, this menu of services offered which I summarized a few, a few moments ago, includes support, education, information, advocacy, and equipment. Because of the hard work and dedication of our supporters and volunteers, including chapter members and their firefighter friends, who live Muscular Sufi Canada's values of passion, caring, commitment, and determination we will make muscles move someday. Once again, I would like to thank the students and faculty 
of you and me for coordinating this event, and to each and every one of you for being here this evening. If you wish to learn more about neuromuscular disorders, or how you can become engaged in the work of Muscular City Canada, please speak to one of our staff here this evening, or visit our website. It's really easy to remember, www.muscle.ca. There are four for muscular dystrophy events taking place during the month of June in New Brunswick. It's a great opportunity to engage your family, your friends, and your coworkers. Don't take your muscles for granted. Join the Walk for Muscular Dystrophy instead. Thank you, and enjoy the rest of your evening.